everyone. Welcome to another episode of a The Little Jim at Home Sing Along. Let's sing along with our hello song, shall we? Do you know it? Please sing it. Oh, everyone, please clap your hands and sing along with me. How do you do? Everybody, how do you do? How do you do? Everybody, how do you do? Oh, you come to Jim for fun and we'll get you on the run. How do you do? Everybody, how do you do? Our first sing-along is the Grand Old Duke of York. We're going to be talking about down and up and halfway up and left and right and upside down. First, we'll just sing it together and then we'll add the movement. So are you ready? Here we go. Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. He marched them to the left. He marched them to the right. He even marched them upside down. Wasn't that a sight? So this time we'll do it again, but while we sing it, we'll act out the movements, all right? So I'll talk you through it first. So we'll start down like this. So the Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. He marched them to the left. He marched them to the right. He even marched them upside down. Wasn't that a sight, okay? So you notice that I was mirroring you when going to the right and left. And when you go upside down, you can just roll on your back and lift your feet up like I did if you want, okay? Are you ready to sing and move to it this time? Okay, start down. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. He marched them to the left. He marched them to the right. He even marched them upside down. Whoa, wasn't that a sight? Nice job. Now it's time for a Get Moving sing along to a The Little Jim song called Clap Your Hands, Stomp Your Feet, Turn Around and Around and Keep the Beat. And that's what I challenge you to do as I sing it. Just follow along. Are you ready? Oh, clap your hands and stomp your feet and turn around and around and keep the beat. Everybody walk or run. Everybody walk or run. Everybody walk or run. Everybody walk or run, everybody walk or run, everybody walk or run today. Oh, clap your hands and stomp your feet and turn around and round and keep that beat. Everybody jump, everybody jump, everybody jump today. I said everybody jump, everybody jump. Everybody jump today. Oh, clap your hands again and stomp your feet again and turn around and around and keep the beat again. Everybody can you gallop? Everybody can you gallop? Everybody can you gallop today? Everybody gallop! Everybody gallop! Everybody gallop today. Now this time. We're gonna run again, but as we're running, whenever the music stops, you're going to freeze on one foot. And if this is too easy, you can maybe try to make that back leg straight and do an arabesque. Every time the music stops, you freeze and stand on one foot or try an arabesque. And then when you hear the music, run. Are you ready? Oh, clap your hands and stomp your feet. Turn around and around and keep that beat. Everybody go for a run, go for a run, go freeze. Remember this, or maybe this. Run today, go for a run. Balance. Go for a run, go for a run today. 
Now it's time for a brain boost sing along. And remember, when we say brain boost, we're talking about things that boost the brain. That's cognitive skills and thinking skills. Uh, and we're gonna do some counting right now and some animal sounds. So are you ready to sing with me? First, we're gonna sing about the number one and about ducks. Are you ready? What does a duck say? Yeah, quack. Here we go. Over in the meadow, in the pond, in the sun, lived an old mother duck and a little duck one. Quack, said the mommy. Quack, said the one. And they flew and were happy in the pond, in the sun. What comes after one? That's right, two. We're going to sing about um, some fish. And what does the fish say? Glub, glub. Are you ready? Over in the meadow, in the stream so blue, lived an old mother fish and her fishies too. Gloop, said the mommy. Gloop, gloop, said the two. And they swam and were happy in the stream so blue. What comes after two? Three. That's right. And we're going to sing about birds. What do birds say? What does a bird say? Oink? No. Tweet. All right, are you ready to do some tweeting? Over in the meadow, in the nest, in the tree, lived an old mother bird and her birdies three. Tweet, said the mommy. Let's do three tweets. Tweet, 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 said the three. And they sang and were happy in the nest, in the tree. What comes after three? That's right, four. We're gonna sing about frogs. What does a frog say? Did you say moo? They say, rid it, rid it. Are you ready? Let's sing about four frogs. Over in the meadow on the rock near the shore lived an old mother frog and her little frogs four. Ribbit, said the mommy. Four ribbits. Ribbit, 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 said the four. And they hopped and were happy on the rock near the shore. What comes after four? You got it. Number five. What does a bee say? A bee says, who said broccoli? A bee doesn't say broccoli. A bee goes, bzzz. Are you ready to buzz five times? Here we go, get ready. Over in the meadow in the big bee high lived an old mother bee and her little bees five. Bzzz, said the mommy. Bzzz, 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 said the five. And they buzzed and were happy in the big beehive. Nice job. Oh, over in the meadow, we had so much fun. But now our song is over. Yes, our song is done. So now it's time for a citizen kids sing along. And this is going to be kind of a game. And you will need a blanket or a sheet, something to cover your, your head with, uh, your child's head. Right? And when we uncover your head, you're going to show us uh, different emotions. Like, can you show us a happy face or a sad face or a surprised face and so on? Uh, this song is called, um, Can You Show Me? And one of the things uh, that we try to teach kids at the little gym is that it's okay to express, and it's very healthy to express your feelings. And even label those feelings and try not to hold things in. Let them out and express them, but not only express them, express them in ways that are appropriate. So we're going to have a fun way of just kind of expressing our emotions uh, in a pretend way and labeling those emotions and, um, and making a game out of it. Are you ready? So you're going to, you can just be sitting on your floor and get ready to put the blanket over your head. And then when I say, let me see, you can uncover yourself and show me on your face the feeling or emotion that I talk about. Hide under your blanket right now. And let's do happy first. I hide under my blanket as happy as can be. Can you show me happy? Let me see. Ooh, that's a happy face. All right, hide yourself again. I hide under my blanket as sad as can be. Can you show me sad? Let me see. Oh. That's a sad face. Are you having a sad face too? Good, hide under the blanket again. I hide under my blanket as frightened as can be. Can you show me frightened? Let me see. Oh, a scared face. Wow.
Great job. This time, let's do angry. Maybe you can show an angry face this time. Okay. I hide under my blanket as angry as can be. Can you show me angry? Let me see. Wow. She is really angry. I've seen that face before. <laughs> All right. I hide under my blanket as confused as can be. Can you show me confused? Let me see. She's really confused. Did you do that too? All right, last one. Okay, here we go. Now this one's gonna be kind of like happy, but we're gonna call it joy. Joy is kind of like you are just overcome with happiness. You're just so joyful. Are you ready? I hide under my blanket as joyful as can be. Can you show me joy? Let me see. Yeah, woohoo. Nice job showing your feelings with your face. All right. For our final sing-along, let's do an old favorite, Ba Ba Black Sheep. And also, I wanted to point out that when I'm playing the ukulele, you're going to see me do some strumming, which is when I sweep my finger across the strings like this. And that sounds, you know, that's what strumming sounds like. And you'll see me doing some finger picking where I'm plucking each string with different fingers. So you can listen for the strum sound and the finger picking sound while we sing. Here we go. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. Now let's sing about a white sheep. Are you ready? Ba ba white sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba, ba, white sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Now let's sing about a purple sheep. A purple sheep? Why not? You never know. Ba, ba, purple sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba, ba, purple sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Now it's time for the takeaway challenge. And remember, this is a fun challenge you can do at home on your own and practice it until we see each other again. Now this uh, takeaway challenge for the little kids is called a wall handstand and, and we do this at the little gym a lot even with the toddlers um, if you can put some a tape line or some kind of markers that won't slip um, maybe about uh, half their body length away from the wall for their hands so I'm going to use this blue line here so I'll put my hands on the line and then I'm going to put not the tops of my feet on but the bottoms of my feet and I'm gonna see if I can walk up the wall, okay? In a wall handstand. Now I'm pretty vertical. For the little kids, it's actually easier if their body's more at like a, a 45 degree angle. So that for me, that would be putting my hands about out here. It's easier for me to get my feet on the wall and just go about like this. Now this is a great core workout. I gotta work my abs, my shoulders, my back. Uh, and the, you'll be surprised that the kids can get up into a little handstand. All right, now then what you can do is um, uh, you can have a family member see if you can crawl under the tunnel that you make. Like, watch Denise. I'm going to get into my handstand, and even the, the two and a half year olds can do this, and then another family member can crawl through their tunnel. And then maybe you can switch and make a, a tunnel for your child, and they can go under you. Now, one thing that you might want to do if you're doing it on a hard floor is have them put their hands on either side of a pillow. So if their arms do bend and their arms give way, they can, they can have um, they can have the pillow right here for their head, okay? <laughs> All right, wall handstand with the tunnel option. Have fun. For the grade school kids, your takeaway challenge will also be a wall handstand, but we're gonna ramp it up a little bit 
and have you see uh, if you can walk your hands out away from the wall. I call it the wall handstand walkout. All right. So like the little kids, first of all, hands on the, on the floor, um, walk your feet up the wall, and then you're going to see how far you're going to walk your feet down the wall and walk your hands out and see how horizontal you can get. Can you believe it? I'm really working my abs and my shoulders, and if you have sticky feet, you can make it work. Now here's another variation. We'll do just the opposite. We'll do the walk in. The wall handstand walk in. So walk your feet up the wall. Now walk your feet up the wall as you walk your hands closer to the wall and get all the way vertical. Now this is really tricky. Parents, you might want to spot them to make sure they don't fall. Use the pillow for their head if they need it. And then maybe from here, you can do the walk out. And go back and forth. Walk out, walk in. That's a great core workout. We've come to the end of another at the Little Gym at Home sing-along, and we'll finish it like we always do with our goodbye song. But this time, instead of clapping your hands, I'm gonna ask you to clap your fingertips. It might be your, your pointers, your middle fingers, your your ring fingers, your pinkies, or your thumbs, what you'll do is you'll watch Denise and do what she does, and she'll use all her different fingers. And parents, uh, just so you know, this is what we call uh, developing fine motor skills, all right? Our fingers and stuff like that. Here we go. Oh, everyone, please clap your fingers and sing along with me. Bye, bye, everyone. We'll see you. See you next time.